Football is a sport played and watched nationwide. We love football, and for 17 Sundays in the fall, you can go to any town in the United States, and you will see at least one person wearing their jersey, families cooped up inside and around their TVs, all watching or waiting for the game to start. Football is our sport. We love it the most, we play it the most, and it can even evoke some emotion out of us. However, everyone is always talking about only a couple of positions on the field. People always want to be the star running back, the star tight end, the star wide receiver, or the star quarterback. Not many people, however, talk about being the star kicker. That is what this film is about. The people in this video have all lived a dream, and some are at different stages of it than others. They have all accomplished many things in their careers, and some still have more to go. I, I grew up playing soccer in, uh, in Europe, and uh, I grew up playing soccer and basketball, so uh, when, uh, when I went out to football, I really had very little knowledge of the game itself, or the skill, or anything really football related, but all my friends said uh, I should try out as a kicker because of my uh, background in soccer, and uh, that's just what I did. Uh, it was kind of my dad, actually. He kind of started, apparently he used to do it back when he was in high school. He never like played on a team or anything, but he would just go out and kick field goals in the grass. He's like, hey, you should try this sometime. And he kind of like had me work on it, and then we got better you know, throughout the summers working on it. It was uh, almost 50 years ago that I started kicking. I kicked in an age when it was all uh, toe bombing, and uh, they had some teams had the square type shoe with the top of the shoe being just like a square, and we would try and hit it. Uh, any team that had a player that could put it in the end zone was looked at as unbelievable. Uh, it was very hard if you didn't hit the, the perfect spot with that type of shoe. Yeah, for me, like, you drop for a punt, because your drop is like the beginning of everything. If you don't have a good drop, you won't be able to hit a good ball. Your snap. So really, the challenge there is always Timing, practice, consistency. Also, just um, swinging straight up through the ball versus swinging across uh, as a punter, uh, where soccer players uh, just your, your leg wants to swing across your body. It's very uh, difficult to make a swing straight. Well, I think it's a constant struggle with kicking is being consistent. I mean, it's one thing if you can hit a 50-yard field goal, but if you can't hit a 50-yard field goal when you need to, then it doesn't really matter so much. Yeah. In my experience, the main difference, and and I honestly think this is where some guys experience tremendous success in college and uh, not so much in the pros, uh, the expectation and the attitude towards the kickers and punters is a lot different by the by the coaching and the organization. The speed of the game is way faster, <laughs> so that's something you gotta get used to right away. Is everybody you go from being like the best athlete at your school, and now everyone was the best athlete at your school. The NFL specialists are by far, and I don't mean to, don't mean at all to uh, discourage or not sound positive about college, but they are just like magnets. They are so easy to coach. When we show the film of their breakdowns, they're busy writing every single thing that is that can be seen on that video. When our high staff members talk to them and, and teach and train, it's just dead silence in the room. They are totally dedicated to what we're saying. Now college is pretty good too. The ones that are really serious and have done well, they really listen and they always want to learn. They always are looking for a new edge. Because some of the, you better be pretty intrinsically motivated to actually be able to maintain uh, the focus and training uh, year after year uh, because those outside encouragement and outside uh, influences are, are not there at the NFL level. Now, some of our high school students, they come to camp, they take no notes, they watch the video, we talk to them the keys of kicking and everything that we do with the pros, but they're far harder to get their attention span. 